Okay, guys, but you got a warthog in front of me. Somewhere in here. It's gone behind the bloody bush. Now the wind's good, I'm just gonna have to be patient. Very still. Sort of snuck out, I didn't realise it was there. So I saw it move. Freak it out. I did call it, but done a mating call. I think it's a female. So I gave a few hog calls. Which I'm going to do again. Stash on that thing. We're gonna go and try and shoot it or oh, when it stops moving. Oh man, now it's going on the other side of the bush. Must be a male this one. I had a female call because that had a huge moustache on it. Where'd you go, you little bugger? I can hear it's hear it moving. And all I gotta do is stay still and aim straight. And it's gotta just be behind that bush. Oh look, there's more of them there. There's, well, look at that one at the back. That's got a huge moustache. Wow, we we got one right here. So they really came to the call. Wouldn't one seen that male come closer? One at the back there? This one at the front here had a pretty big moustache. Man, he is so close. Let's see what's going on at the back. Oh, you're the one. Oh, straight down, straight down. That's the one I wanted. Looks it's maybe a bit bigger than the one that was closer. Let's go check it out. Beautiful. Now, apparently the ducks have just been released in Leighton Lakes. Oh wow, look at this thing where. Man, that looks huge. There's still corn out there, these pigs. Oh, it's not bad. Let's check it out. It's a bronze. It is a female. I didn't know they had big tusks like that. Oh, we hit the left lung and right lung. Good shot. Wowee. So I should have spotted it first. But look at that. I suppose it's got a bit of a <laughs> girly face on it. I don't know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just had another warthog call. It's a male. What's up there a bit? I should maybe back up a bit. So I had a better view. I can't see. I'll try and get up here a little bit. I can hear something thumping as well. Must be a rabbit or something nearby. Oh, the woodhog is in here somewhere. I still got something making a thumping sound. I don't know, it sounds like it's coming from up there. It's a cliff. Oh no. A pig's coming. little fella. There he's there, look. He's down. Might have been another couple with it. Oh, that's got a pretty big moustache as well. Look at that. A 
Babbock and Warthog. Yeah, that's the male silver. Oh, they took away my consecutive harvest again. All right, not a problem. It's no world beater, but it's pretty cool. I like the way they look. I like the little hair. Got that there, and I can still hear something thumping, and it's annoying me. I can't believe it. I still got something thumping in. I've been calling the warthogs on and off, and one has come back. There could be more than one, but I have seen one. It's pretty much dead in front. In those bushes. It's never been spotted. Oh, there it is. That's a female who was nervous. There's two of its little buddies have been killed by me. Well, oh, that one's dead. So they are dropping like, like flies out here. Oh, look, the other one's just down there. You're joking me. Wow, he tried to take its brain out. I don't know where I hit it. There we go, we might have got all that little herd. What's that, four of them? There may be one or two more. Look at this poor little bugger. That's a female. Get 803 bucks. Well, we did hit the skull. Wow, we well, must have just missed the brain. I hope they got a brain the size of a pea or something. They've got some really nasty gnashes there, haven't they? Then we hit the thoracic spine with that shot. Oh, yeah, snap that one. So we're up to 80%. No integrity. I already got the shot it twice. I still have something thumping. It's like there's a rabbit stuck somewhere. It's sort of annoying me, so I might leave the area and go down. I've got a mark there. It's the Cape Buffalo watering hole thing. Drinking zone. Wow, you've got a really big moustache. If I remember right, you were a female. And yes, you are. $915. There we go. got the 100% on the consecutive harvest now. We hit the thoracic spine, right lung, flesh, left scapula. So these bullets now, this gun, this 4570, it's a pretty good bloody gun, oh, I must admit. Oh, what, what is that there? Oh, look at that big pig. Mate, there are a few bloody warthogs around here. What's going on over there? Another warthog. Right, let's pick this one up. I can still hear something shuffling around the bush. Oh, God. <laughs> that really ran at me. Got lucky then. Jeez. Alright, that could be that whole little mob now. That could be the other two. That one looks like a big red one over there. Could be a big male. This is obviously a female. Wow, we shot that at a distance of 2.39 metres. Now that has got to be some sort of record for me. Look at that, where that poo was. <laughs> it almost, almost got me. I also brought along today my shotgun and slugs and a rhino pistol. Look at red here. That's an interesting looking warthog. I wonder if it has a different fur variation. I'll take a little photo of a little friend. Just for a record. It's a female. It's red-brown. All right, it is a sort of fur variation. There we go. Oh, that's my first red-brown one, I think. Haven't shot too many of these. So it's nice to get, what was that, like five or six right at the start of the, the hunt there. Very nice indeed. I just had something walk by. I had a mating call from a pig earlier. I think it might have been a rabbit making a noise. I was going over that way. I was looking for some Cape Buffalo. I keep getting warthog calls today. Amazing. 
Let's have a look over this hill. Well, there was a mail out this way giving a mating call. But, I have no idea where it is. What's this? Looks fresh. Just now, warthog droppings. You can see where it's walked down, look. It is in there. There it is. What's the gun on? It's working on 150. I'll give it another call. Oh, look, there's a cute buffalo. Oh, there's a whole herd of a man. I want to sneak up on him. Oh, far out. It is all happening. It seems like I've got a rabbit over there. I'm going to spray up just in case, and I'm good with the wind. Something is right here. It's the Cape Buffalo that's just down here, I reckon. Too heavy for anything else. Pop out. Wanna try the rhino on a Cape Buffalo? Oh look right there it is. There they are. That's 49. I'm going to go for it from here because I don't just want it to run off. Uh, we're going to rhino this buffalo in the lungs. Man, that should have put a freaking big hole in it. Oh, man. Let's check it out. Awesome. They're, they're probably in a way there is another zone further on. So this is another zone they were in. I didn't have. Now I do. Oh, look at all that blood. We may have hit it twice. Just now, is this vital hit as well? Oh, this thing shouldn't get far at all. I did it run straight? Take our time. Alright, let's see blue over here. So that's one of its buddies. Oh wow, look how small this bud is now. Let's check the next couple. Like I think the rhino should do a good job if you hit it in, say like the lungs or maybe the spine or heart, if you're lucky enough to get that shot in. The thing, if it doesn't go down straight away, which obviously hasn't gone on here, it should die. It would be interesting to see where I hit that, like I did aim for the one. I hit the warthogs out here. Oh, let's check the next blood. Going through the water, here we are. Here, all right. This might not be too far at all. I can only hope. As long as I go to 25 to 50, I've had this happen before, and they stop bleeding. But this one is down. I reckon we've got both shots in on the rhino. The gun has proved itself. We'll find out how far we tracked it. Not very far at all, I'd say a couple hundred meters. It's a big bruiser, look at that, stuck on the tree. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? That looks really beautiful. Yeah, sort of bad luck for the Cape Buffalo, but hey, that looks awesome. Take a happy snap. The steam. Find out where we hit this bloody thing. 
in the right lung. That done the 94% damage. No quick kill bonus, we did still get our integrity. It was a seven very hard male. Let's look at the first shot. Yeah, that's when it was eaten, so just missed the spine as well there. We've got the lung. Then we hit the flesh that was running off. Looked like we hit it in the leg. So all good. Got more warthogs over there. Wow, oh, there's a small herd of them. I've also got some Cape Buffalo or female call. That 145 way is the zone. What's that calling? Where where is it? Oh I missed it. I haven't heard a kudu today. Haven't seen rabbits, been warthogs all over the place. And now we're getting some Cape Buffalo coming in. So I don't know if I want to shoot these warthogs yet or call them back. I want to see what I can see out here. And what's the Cape Buffalo walking by? Had a female right around here somewhere it called from. But unless they're in a zone and they're eating or drinking it, they rarely stay still. They're always on the move. And the warthogs have gone through there. Boy, what's that there? There's our Cape Buffalo. That's the female that was calling. There's, oh, there's a, a six hard male. That's the male there. So, wow, we, it's not super far away. I don't know if I should use the it's sitting down now. Let me spot that. Yeah, the male is just sitting there 70 metres away. I might go for it with the rhino. No, click on that. Oh, we're on 75 on this. Oh, wow, look, it is dead. I must have hit the spine straight out. I did aim that way. Wow, well, I didn't expect it to die. I was waiting to pull off a second shot. I didn't shoot at the other ones around the way. I'm not interested in wounding them and having to chase them 28 miles. Now this is the perfect shot for the rhino. It was at about 70 meters. We'll see how far away it was. I forgot to look how long I tracked the other one for. It wasn't long. Oh, this is six hard. We've got it with a kill shot. Wow, we and we have integrity, and it is gold. I was hoping it was 100% on everything on that. We hit the thoracic spine on left lung at 70 meters. Weapon score of 51, so we've got top weapon score. It's a black, look at that. Oh, that is a nice shot. He didn't, he just died straight away, didn't it? Didn't even get to move. 1,284 bucks. Pretty happy with that. That's a good, good shot with this gun. It's good to see the rhino. If you do, I thought if you hit it in the right spot, and we did, we got a kill shot in there. So thoracic spine and a heart shot. And a brain, if you, you can penetrate the brain, I'm pretty sure you can. You're close enough of this, you'll get the kill shot in. And you get your quick kill bonus. Totally awesome. I think I've still got a Cape Buffalo up there. And it is coming in fast. There it is, there it is. Might be trying to get back to the zone. We might get a second one here. Where's it going? There it is there, look. That's its back. Now I'm glad they make so much noise when they walk. I can't spot it. Over a freaking track. I always stand up. It's, I don't know, the same thing is about 67 metres away. 
guess I was just aching. Gonna, this thing is still. I want it. Why won't you spot? Because I just can't grab enough of it with the binoculars. Oh, I can we see it through the scope of the pistol? Oh, yeah, we can. At a distance, I'm gonna go a spine shot. <laughs> it's down! Another one, straight away down. We had something crawling up there. That was another Cape Buffalo. That's the second one. Killed with a spine shot. It just went straight down. And we couldn't even spot it. So, I think it was about 65 meters away. That is totally awesome, man. I'm going to show you where we are on the map yet, because I'm not sure I've even done that. I have been here before. You should know the area because just down the road is a prehistoric art cave. Right. You're a female silver. Yeah, thoracic spine at 66 meters. Man, I'm surprised it came back. We just picked up the male we killed. I was just finishing up there and I could hear footsteps. And the other one's just up the hill. That one might run off now. Wow, nice. This rhino really does a good job. Got a female Cape Buffalo here growling. It's a warning call. Is that it there? That's a tree. Where is it? to a better angle. The wind's not too bad, it shouldn't smell me, but it might have heard me. I'm pretty sure the females don't really charge. Oh, maybe the odd one, who knows. I'm sure we could get a clear sight of it. There's a zone just there. That's the Cape Buffalo zone. It's weird, I've just heard pretty much warthogs in Cape Buffalo today. Well, that has been a good hunt. I was complaining the last time, I was getting a bit frustrated. The hunt took forever. But this has been nice and clean. Been a pretty good hunt. Buffalo might have taken off as it was giving a warning call. But it's just standing off from the zone. Oh, something's running. friend in there somewhere or oh, there look there's a few of them oh man I can't get a good sight though but they don't seem over panicked look at that big bugger oh, yeah that, that's the female 50 something meters away. I won't be able to get a kill shot in. And there's another one there. What are you? Alright, they're both females. You're nervous. Oh, which one's in front? That one. It just looks weird. Now I can't spot that one. There it is. I think it went down. I think it might have went down. I was aiming for the spine. I was worried I'd hit the tree. Because I could see branches and I thought, oh, the bullet might hit the tree. No, it is down. Awesome. 
So this Rhino today, it, I'm impressed. Even the the 4570, you can rate that gun now, and you've always been able to rate this gun. But against the Cape Buffalo, man, it is it is just doing its job. Uh, so we had both of them here. The zone was just over there, so we're just outside the zone, but they were eating. And the silver female, everything's 100%. Hit it, thoracic spine, right lung, flesh, left scapula. At 57 metres. So very deadly. Even at, what was the other one? I think it was, we got one at 70 or something. And we killed it outright, so I'm very impressed. And I've got one running. There it goes. That's obviously the other female. With it, I don't think it's going to stop though. If he wasn't up here further, I might have been able to get a shot at it. Right, I'm stuck on a ridge, I hate that. There we go. We are up. Uh, I might end the video there. It has been a good hunt, don't want to push me like. If I had a clear shot on that, I would have took it, but. Here goes another one. I've had to stay down here, I might have got a crack at it. Oh, I had a lag spike there. So, Cape Buffalo running all around this joint. Let's look at the map so everyone knows where we're going. So, we only shot in a couple of places today. This is where we got most of them pigs and probably the first Cape Buffalo. Here's that prehistoric art. And what's this lodge called? Navelia. MP Fulu. Fulu. I don't want to say that. Then we just moved across here because I do have a couple of Cape Buffalo zones. I sort of stalked them. So, I haven't had to move far. I was just very quiet. I crouched all the way. All the way down. We want to stir things up. Although we have been shooting and animals do come back to the area because of the zones. So I'm pretty happy with this gun today. I think it's done a really good job. And I did mention that there is ducks now in Lake and Lakes. I haven't been there yet. I only got the download tonight. I still wanted to have a hunt here. Well, we'll check it out. I might not buy the DLC straight away. Like even in the Hunter Classic, I didn't do too much duck hunting, and I had a whole set up there and everything for that. So I will eventually check it out. I might try and hunt ducks without the DLC. We'll probably use the pump action shotgun with some bird shot, and then when you press X, apparently, <coughs> see, you give a whistle, and if the duck's on the water, that'll get it up in the air, and that's when it's ethical to shoot it when it is flying. Not while it's sitting in the water. So I'll give that a shot and see how we go. Oh right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that hunt. I really did this time. Not frustrated, not frustrated at one little bit. So thanks for dropping by and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>